Thank you, Madam President. We stand as South Africa to say to our brothers, our neighbors, our sisters, our mothers, in fact, our families, because we have intermarried, to say that your pain is our pain. We do know when sanctions are put to be punitive. Our people, different civic organizations, different political parties, not all in South Africa have actually been marching up and down to demand that these sanctions be removed. And we do so because we understand that without South Africa standing up, joining up with the other neighbors, the economic progress of the region will be retarded. The issues of children, of child mortality, of hunger, will continue to besiege the region. So this is not Zimbabwe's problem. This is a regional problem. This is where you know who your friend is and who your enemy is. This is where we call upon all of us to say, we have never understood the direction of the sanctions against Zimbabwe. It wasn't sanctions against the whole of government. It was sanctions directed at certain individuals which were also directed at the innocent, the children unborn, people who had nothing to do with whatever quarrels, whoever it was who designed these sanctions had. So we stand behind you. We call for the removal of the sanctions. We want Zimbabwe to be able to enjoy her mineral wealth, to go back to being the fruit basket of our region, and to walk tall amongst the nations of Africa. And I thank you.